Hey guys, my name is Avi and I'm from the Codex and today we're going to learn Merge Sort in 3 minutes. Now what is Merge Sort guys? Merge Sort is a computer science algorithm that uses recursion to go ahead and sort any list or series of data you give it. The algorithm it uses is called divide and conquer. What it does is it's going to go ahead and take your array, no matter how big it is, and continuously divide it until you have n number of one element arrays. For example, in our case we have 37218546. Merge sort would go ahead and create eight separate arrays that are one item bit. After that, guys, once you have a bunch of one element arrays, you're going to go ahead and merge those arrays, creating two, then four, then eight, until you've completely sorted all of your different items and you have one giant array that's completely sorted. That's exactly how merge sort works. Let's go ahead and see a live example in this tutorial. Over here, we have an array 37218546. The first step of merge sort again is to go ahead and divide it into n sublists containing one element. So what we're going to do guys is we're going to take our array and split it in half. 37218546. Then we're going to take the two newly created arrays and split them in half again. 37218546. and 4, 6. Last but not least guys we're going to take the arrays we just created and split them in half again. 37218546 and 4, 6, until we have n sublists containing one element. Now again guys, merge sort is based off of recursion. So theoretically what would happen is, due to recursion, recursion would take our first array, break it in half, but instead of breaking this in half again, it's going to focus on this array and completely break it in half. So it's going to say 3721, then go down this path over here, then take the other side of 3721, go down over here, etc. Recursion is a little bit more complicated, but to make merge sort easy to understand, I'm showing all of the processes at once. All right, so now we have our eight single item array. Let's go ahead and go ahead, take a look at the next step. Repeatedly merge sublists into sorted sublists until one is left. So now that we have eight items or eight arrays, we're going to go ahead and merge them back into one big array, except now we're going to sort them. So here we have three and seven. Three and seven is in the right order. So when we create an array, we're not going to change anything. Our next step is two, one. However, we know that two is greater than one. So we're going to say one, two. We know that five is greater than eight. So we're going to say five, eight. And then six is greater than four. So that stays the same. Now with our newly created arrays, we're going to merge these two and these two. So we're going to go ahead and say 1, 2, 3, 7, uh, 4, 5, 6, 8. And then last but not least, we're going to merge our two four item arrays into one massive eight item array that will be sorted. And we get over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Fantastic. Merge sort has a big O of O n log n. And here's the pseudocode if you need. Again, it consists of two functions, merge sort and merge. The merge sort function is what you actually run with the array. It's go, it will go ahead and split the array into halves until you have single item arrays. And then once you have single item arrays, it's going to go ahead and run, run the merge function. The merge function will go ahead and join those elements together until you create your final array, which is sorted and looks just like this above. Thanks so much for listening, guys. That was merge sort in a nutshell. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.